Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. Antonovsky's dead, game over. Meh, yeah, not exactly. There's still the matter of whatever it was that escaped from the Project Afterlife lab below old Detroit. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. There have been enough hints so far that I, I suspect I knew what it was, I just wasn't entirely sure who it was, but we're going to find out real soon. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. If this is what I think it is, you guys might want to hang back. Clearly the metal detectors were made by OCP. Scanning around, see if I can pick anything up, but nothing so far. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! Yeah, I've been at the executive floor a few times. I think I know the way. I have to admit, I didn't have a very good feeling about what was coming up. And they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. Yep, yeah, it's Robocop 2, isn't it? The second version of Robocop that was supposed to replace me in the second movie. And the reason I didn't have a very good feeling about this is because, well, this game doesn't have a very good track record with boss fights this far. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It, it, something. I... There have been three what what you'd call boss fights thus far in the game. The initial fight with the first Ed 209 in the Street Vultures headquarters. Uh, the second fight with the Ed 209 at the Arms Expo, and then the third fight with the Ed 209 in the streets of Detroit. And they were all kind of shit. I mean, it fits. The Ed 209 isn't a particularly smart machine. That's one of the reasons why it's such a failure, but... Be mm, careful. Didn't give me a warm, fuzzy feeling about what was coming up here. Uh, uh, what do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Me 
realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be. The Clock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison, creep. Yep. It's the old man. Murphy, what the hell was that? Uh, uh, just an old friend. Alright, scrap your orders, I guess. So, I mean, you know, if Becca's dead, I'm sure we'll be missed. Um, <laughs> and I have to say, you know, this this was actually a very good boss fight. This thing definitely does not just stand there waiting to get shot. Um, scanning it reveals the weak spot. And it's a multi-stage boss fight as well. I mean, it's not... They have actually done a pretty good job here. Ow, this hurts. Um, <laughs> oh shit, he's launching rockets. I should probably not be there. I do like the way they've handled the destructible environment in this game as well. Um, you know, hiding behind walls doesn't do you any good. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say I was all right, but um, there's a limited amount that a bunch of cops with 9mm pistols can do to help me out. Yeah. I am definitely going to need to keep my eye open for more recovery charges. Or well, I don't think I'm going to have the time to actually use... Oh, I need to move from that. Get out of the way. <laughs> uh, if there are any fuse panels around to recover my health, I don't think I'm going to have the time to just stand there and use them. Uh, you can stun him if you get close. Oh shit, you can dodge that bugger. Down to three recovery charges. But you can stun him if you get close enough in melee. No, no I, don't think I, need I don't think a shotgun's going to do me much use here. <laughs> How much health does he have? He's about a third done. Ah, we just triggered stage two. You will not win this. I'm kind of beat up. I, I've definitely seen better days. And that thing's still moving. Where the hell are you? I've lost visual. We what? Yeah, it looks like we made it to the parking garage. Yeah, I, I kind of have other plans right now. <laughs> you can go right through the concrete support columns as well. <laughs> I suspect they probably won't protect me from... Uh, is that a 20mm can? Oh shit, that is it. 20mm cannon on his bow. Oh no. Ow. Okay, so do not let him do that. That really hurts. When he charges, dodge. 
Seems like fairly obvious advice, but yeah. He does that, he grabs you, and, and that hurts. And these concrete columns are not going to protect me from, well, anything. He's got a double barrel 20mm cannon on his back, and his rocket launcher will just rip these concrete columns apart. And it doesn't look like the charge can be interrupted, so I've just got to keep dodging and keep up the hail of fire, aiming for that weak spot. And hopefully, trigger stage three. We've got to be close, surely. He doesn't have a huge amount of health left. Where did he, there he is. And you've got to be quick if you want to get these uh, spikes away, because if you just hold them in front of you, they will explode in your hands if you hit them enough. Yeah, appreciate the advice, Samantha. Uh, there's just something I need to finish first. Okay, so now you've got to dodge rockets as well as the charge attack and the 20 millimeter rocket cannon fire. <laughs> oh, grenade launcher. I'm having that. Oh, watch out for the rockets. I mean, yeah, I didn't have a lot of grenade launcher ammo. Honestly, I think the auto mag is probably doing a better job, but he doesn't have that weak spot available for me to shoot at anymore, so you've just got to keep dodging and keep it up. Uh, more grenade launcher ammo? Yeah, why not? Oh, wow. Not sure I can take the time to reload, get the shields up. I only have two recovery charges left. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, my, my dash isn't available yet. Okay. Yeah, we've managed to reduce his health pretty quickly this far, um, thanks to... Oh shit, that was bad. I took my time picking up the recovery charge and now he's carving me a new one. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Another grenade launcher. Yeah. Um, I even forgot what I was talking about. Oh yes! Yeah, it, in the first two stages that weak spot's available and hits on that are guaranteed crits. So you're able to whip this health down way faster in stage one and two at this point then in the final stage here. Uh, this one you just kind of have to do the old-fashioned way. Get the shields up. Still got two recovery charges. Use the stun there. I'm not expecting it to actually stun him but it might do some damage. And, uh, and then is that it? I think we're done. I think we've done it. Let's see what happens. Oh none of this looks good. Oh shit. Oh no actually. Yeah. No. Happy with that. <laughs> There's no one else inside. You need to save yourself. I'm on my way, Lewis. There's just one small matter of unfinished business I need to deal with first. Leave him to die or kill him. Eh. Never liked him anyway. And now it's time to get the hell out of Dodge. You can move faster than that, Robocop. <laughs> you don't get extra points for style. Move your metal ass. I see 
something. Is that him? Talk to me. It is me, Lewis. It has always been me. And that is the end of Robocop Rogue City. And I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it was a little rough around the edges Another in certain parts, but overall, I thought it was a really good game. Now that Robocop's done, I'm going to be continuing the Pacific Drive playthrough. I know a lot of you have been asking when you're going to see the next Pacific Drive video. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you've enjoyed the series. And, uh, well, I'm going to leave you with uh, Channel 9, because they've got plenty more to say. In the meantime, as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time. From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denies... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! speaker. Pure pans of money. Ah. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.